and we are live. So time for some classic salmon fly tying, a part two of this yacht cut we started earlier. Uh, so today we're going to finish it. So let me just uh, move the camera in the right direction. There we are. <clears throat> so let's start. I prepared all the steps. So we're going to add uh, the middle wing first. See, so it's not too, too long. Maybe I need to remove a few fibers. Let me do that first. There we are. So now size-wise it should be better. <clears throat> so just gently tying it in. And then we're going to add a wing on top of it. And sometimes I even marry them together. <clears throat> so and there we are. Now I'm just gonna hump it a bit to get the lower profile. I want it even lower. Just trying to align them. <clears throat> so, just going to remove the feathers here. <clears throat> there we are. Hi, Monty. Hi, Timothy. How are you guys? So now we have a lower one. So let's add the wing. But before that, I think I'm going to cut uh, this one away. Sometimes I keep it, sometimes not. <clears throat> so, I prepared a wing as well. So we don't have any, any build time. So I'm just going to align it and then you guys can have a look. There we are. I'm going with the very classic, uh, like a classic wing. Nothing fancy. Something like that. 
So let me tie it in then. Now it should be sufficient with thread. Yes, I want it to have a lower profile. So one wing is a little bit higher than the other one. So I'm just correcting that. Hey, buddy, how are you? I'm great, thank you. What about you? No, it looks better. Always have to play a bit with the feathers. Now we have one of the worst feathers ever. Let's see if we can get them in place. One is in place. The other one is not. So let's redo. <clears throat> Oh, so they always turn the evil feathers. <laughs>
Hi, Rob. And this is actually um, sword feathers. So I always go with sword feathers. But they're not easy to tie in in a correct angle. Uh, I'm always fighting with it. They just turn out. So I never give up. Can't have a feather beating me, that would be terrible. So. I just change angle. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a cold. Yeah. It's going to be a, a long fight until we get there. Nah, that's not nice. How do you guys normally use these feathers? When I have plenty of time, I normally add a bit of varnish, let them dry on and then apply the thread. Or, you use the sides to press it in. <clears throat> This is just one side. <laughs> then we need to sort out the other one as well.
the lace so nice without when you're not put, putting pressure on them. Oh, ta-da. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate them. There we go. Yeah. Normally when I have plenty of time, I always make sure <clears throat> they are correct. But today, today live, I don't think you guys have like two hours watching me fighting in that crap. So I just quickly gonna see if one side it's easier than the other one. No. It's okay. I skip them. Going into the bin. Otherwise, it's going to be like watching dry paint, let paint to dry. And that's never fun. So, just going to make sure it's aligned. Yeah, I don't use it uh, uh, at all. Uh, not on classic uh, salmon flies. <coughs> that it's cheating for sure. <laughs> so I use only varnish. But let's go with mallard then instead. Mallard is fun. <clears throat> and let me take this side. A gigantic mallard. It's huge. From the Irish plucker. I bought it from, from them when I was at the fair. Northern Ireland. And they make good for disabled people. So uh, they can fish, they help out, support the community. So it's for a great cause.
and now everything is splitting and fighting here. Hmm. Interesting. So I got the message in Sweden, so I'm just going to answer him. Uh, hey, Christian. Uh, Norrbotten, absolut. Uh, Engeson och uh, Kalixälven är väl sikte på i år. Kanske någon tur till Lögdeälven också. So, let's continue. Uh, JC, uh, we're going to have uh, Shatter. Uh, I'm going to use Substitute. Uh, I tie with the Pitta. Let me see if you can see it. There you go. But first, we're going to tie in the GC. Got another question in Swedish, so uh, sorry for that. Uh, I'm going to answer him. I haven't fished it before, so it's the premier in the year. So, one side prepared. I always cut off the fibers. Uh, so, I'm going to wax the thread first. There we go. A bit low. I just gonna move it up a bit. And then I add Cotinga substitute at the same time. There we go. And then just prepare the Yeezy on my side. And then some more wax thread. There we go. So on top of that, we're going to have the horns and the topping. I put the horns here, otherwise I'm just going to forget it. And we're going to do a hurl head. There we go. Nice shape of the wing. Rob, uh, the Indian crew, uh, sorry, the shutter substitute is a pitta. It's a small uh, Asian bird. 
and uh, it, it doesn't get gray when it uh, get uh, gets wet. A bit more wax to the thread. And let me just start cutting off the material here. I will not cut off too much because we're going to have a hurl head. So I want some of uh, the feathers to support that. There we go. It's a bit more just to clean up. And I don't need that much on the top here. There we go. So just remove the hurl so I don't clean them away. Or the horns, sorry. Um, no, I have no idea what, what's it called. But if you Google Pitta Bird, uh, you will see it. I'm terrible at birds, uh, scientific names. I don't think I know one. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so, topic first then. Just need to find a small one. I think these ones are too large. Maybe that one. Could be something. But I like the rain of this one. But it's the long. Just gonna look because I... Can. Nah, that, that will not be good at all. So let me then see what this one will do. That, that one actually might be perfect. Just gonna try. Might be just a little bit too short. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, come on. There we go.
Maybe I should have it a bit longer. I don't want them to meet, but in the end, I'm quite sure they, they are. <laughs> I always manage to do that. I don't know why. Oh, perfect. Thanks, guys. Oh, the, the chat is open for all these kind of questions. That's half the fun. So, so don't worry at all. We learn each other's stuff. I learn. Uh, everybody else learn. Uh, that's why I, I like the live one so much. I almost stopped doing normal videos, I would say. The, the live ones, uh, the interaction and everything is so much nicer. That's a huge one. I might have to take one directly from my neck. Yeah, that one is a bit boring, it has a knob on it. I have all these super long ones. I think I prepared, prepared them all for the Trahern patterns. So tomorrow I'm going to tie the Marlodge. Uh, and after that, it's back to a bit of Trahan flies. Mm -hmm. It's close, but maybe just a hint, bit short. Yeah, it will work. It will work. But it doesn't have the nicest shape, so I'm going to keep looking. That one would be something. I might use that one. Even if it's a bit long, I will shorten it. It's not the best way of working with toppings. But unless this one looks nice too. Uh, I think we go with that one. And if it doesn't turn out good, then I take one directly from the neck. That one is actually really good. Just going to see where, like that. Yeah, they're going to meet again. Sorry. <laughs> it's in my DNA to, to make them uh, to meet from top to bottom. It's a bit curved. Let's see if we can sort that out. And I'm just going to flatten the stem. The wax we already got. So 
So let's see if it's sufficient. I really need to start to practice <laughs> to, to have like a gap in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rain on your side, guys. Maybe it could be a bit lower. But I think that one will look okay in a frame. And I'm just going to add the horns before I forget them. My dog just announced, uh, you know, don't forget my, my dinner. <laughs> he walked up to me and tapped me on the leg. Tick, tick. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the boss here. Just gonna cut and yeah, just a little bit out of the yellow. <clears throat> yeah. I agree with you, David. Now we got one horn in place. Let's do the other one. Same there, I just cut a small section out of the yellow to make it easier to tie in. Horns in place. And let's wax the thread and do the hurl head. Yeah, I'll be slipping. Did cut away too much material, I think. So let's see if I can redo a bit. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Got the cold on on its way. So 
So that's going to take a uh, watermark and just put some black hair on the blue feathers and so on. Otherwise, they might shine through. But I'm going to varnish a bit as well. So. I need to secure the thread before I, I wet the heart. times just to make sure it's holding up there we go and then I just cut off the thread and just gently push wet the hole and push it backwards And then I'm gonna brush it out later. I'm just gonna move that so it's aligned together. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't like to dress your Scots. It's a boring because before I was selling flies, uh, uh, yeah, crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, in Sweden, um, most of the guys you know green highlander and york scott so then you know, tend to sit there and, and tie them uh, to death uh, really boring <laughs> so that's why i don't like it uh, but yeah sorry about the the, the peacock uh, sword feathers uh, it, it wasn't my day adding them uh, i could do it uh, of course you know with the you know, sheeting a bit with the varnish and let it dry, and then you very gently add the thread, and then they don't point out. But it takes quite a long time, and waiting it to dry, not worth the time really. So uh, yeah, that's what we ended up with today. This one. So okay, 
it's okay. And uh, okay, Jock Scott, not perfect in any sense, but uh, tight live. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. I, I'm gonna color some Amherst uh, uh, like uh, golden pheasant tail uh, ish. So I might do a video of that and upload later today. Else, uh, um, if I don't do it, um, it's more lodge tomorrow. So thanks a lot for watching and see you tomorrow and have a fantastic weekend. Um, big hearts to you guys. The, the, wow, look, fantastic. Okay, see you later. Bye.